Hey beautiful souls, welcome to another pick a card reading or pick a group reading. Uh, so today we are going to do as promised what you need to know right now, uh, which was the second runner up in the poll. So for group one, I have uh, Opalite. Group two, I have Selenite. And group three, I have this little like teardrop clear crystal with a rose on it. I know it doesn't look like it belongs here, but I was drawn to choose this for the reading. So what we're going to do is I'm going to, I pre-shuffled some oracle cards, so we will grab those first. I will grab those first. We'll check those out and then I will jump into the tarot. And then near the end, we are going to get some advice for you. So take a moment to pause if you need to, choose a group or timestamp, crystal you're drawn to the most, and I will see you guys at your reading. Welcome group one if you chose the opalite. This is your reading. I'm just going to put your crystal here, so let's dive in. Okay, we have number 36, Commitment. We have third quarter moon, Adjust adjustments are required. We have success. Just gonna move these closer. And for an archetype card, we have gambler. Now this may be somebody significant in your um, 3D, your reality, or this may represent you. So just bear with me as I try to read this uh, color here. <laughs> okay, so light attribute. We have willingness to follow intuition, even when others doubt you. The shadow is relying on luck rather than hard work. Okay. So what I'm getting from this is um, I'm not so much getting that there's a person in your life that is a gambler. Now that may resonate for some of you. And if right off the bat you're seeing this and it resonates, then this may be confirmation that this is your pile. Um, however, what I'm mostly getting from that gambler card is more so about you uh, really stepping into that light attribute and trusting your intuition and following your inner guidance rather than um, being impulsive. And yeah, I'm getting more so um, impulsive. Did I say repulsive? <laughs> I'm impulsive. Um, there's nothing, it's not always wrong to be a risk taker, right? It's, nice to get out of your comfort zone. It's important for growth. However, I'm getting more so that um, I feel like there's an area in your life and it may have to do with like a relationship with the commitment card or just you committing to like a goal um, in your life that you would like to reach. Um, yeah, there's a there's an adjustment adjustment there within yourself that needs to be made and this may be just simply learning to trust your intuition more and following your intuition I may I'm kind of sensing that uh, some of you may have trouble discerning your ego from your intuition and maybe you kind of um, you don't always follow through with a goal or commitment but I am getting the message that um, to really trust yourself. Because you do have uh, you do have this amazing ability with your intuitive. I feel like a lot of you maybe consider yourself psychic, intuitive. Um, 
I'm also getting not so much listening to others or allowing others to uh, take you off your path. Follow your guidance, not so much other people. Like, you know how sometimes you try and share a goal that you're trying to reach with someone in your community or a friend or family and possibly they just don't understand. Um, maybe it's not something they want for themselves, so they're not really understanding you. And whatever they're saying or advice they're giving is kind of throwing you off your path or it feels like it's throwing you off your path. I'm getting here that um, you may have to take a step back and look at who you should actually share this information with. Now, those that tell you that it's not a good idea or whatever, they, they may not intentionally be doing this to um, cause you pain or suffering or harm. They just may simply not understand and really care about your well-being. But I feel like I'm getting the sense that there's something here with a goal, a commitment. Again, it could be relationship, um, anything here. Something that requires your dedication and focus. And there's something there that's kind of throwing you off. Something in your life. And you just trusting yourself more. Rather than seeking approval from others or guidance from others. Or allowing others to direct your path will help bring you that success. So let's jump into the tarot and see what else we have. We're going to dive deeper. This deck is a bit stiff. It's a new one. <laughs> so I did pre-shuffle. I do pre-shuffle all my decks um, beforehand. So we're not sitting here for like hours. <laughs> Okay, so what does group one need to know at this time? We have the Ten of Wands. We have the Star. The King of Wands. Just going to move these over a little bit. And the Seven of Swords. Okay. Okay, yeah, you're holding on to something here that's uh, really weighing you down. It's not allowing you to actually move forward with ease. Uh, there's like some sort of burden here, whether it's like burden from family member, friends. Um, but yeah, there's there's something you need to release. And I feel like it's actually, in some way, you're starting to lose faith because it's, it's exhausting for you. Um, but I am getting that there... Even though it may appear or feel like all hope is lost um, and you've been struggling at this goal, this commitment uh, for so long, I feel like there is still hope. If you still want this, it's still available to you. Um, and this is really about you stepping into your power with that King of Wands and becoming a leader in your life. And I feel like this is also being, expressing who you truly are authentically and allowing others to see you, see your power. And this is also inspiring for others as well uh, for their journeys. I feel like 
With that Seven of Swords, I do kind of see you in the Seven of Swords energy. Like, um, the Seven of Swords, that, this can be somebody who's a bit secretive, maybe kind of deceptive, like wearing a mask. Um, and, and I'm not necessarily, it's not like a bad thing. It's not like, oh, you're um, deceitful. No, that's not what I'm getting. I feel like... There's actually a part of you here that has been wearing some sort of mask uh, to protect yourself. Because I feel like like the, the card we had here in the beginning with the gambler and the adjustments is... Uh, I feel like there's somebody in your life that you can't like... F it feels uncomfortable for you to fully express yourself and allow yourself to be authentic, like completely open and authentic around this person or this group of people. Um, there is a sense of hiding. But I'm also getting that this is also allowing you, letting you know that it's okay to not express every part of yourself. Yes, it's important to be authentic, but you don't need to share all of the details. You don't have to share your next move with others if you don't feel comfortable. Um, you can still step into your power, take charge of your life without being an open book to the world. But I'm definitely getting a sense that you should also, there's a need to set boundaries here. People are putting a lot of pressure on you to go in a certain direction in your life or down a certain path. There's also a need for healing. The star is also like a very healing card. I believe this is Aquarius energy. Um, Yeah, you're being asked to release these burdens at this time. Whatever is weighing you down. I feel, yeah, there's definitely something here that's stuck. Whether it's a pattern. I, I am getting people surrounding this. Um, someone or community, family, friends. But there's there's somebody here that... It's like a, it's a heavy energy where it's, there's a lot of pressure put on you. Now you may be, I'm getting for some of you, now this could be a storyline for some of you. Um, you may be that child and you grew up being the one that had to take care of your parents or your siblings. Maybe your parents weren't allowed to around a lot so you had to take care of your younger siblings but there's a lot of responsibility put on you and it was almost like your goals were put on the back burner that they weren't important so there was trouble there was difficulty committing to a goal because all these burdens and responsibilities were put on you and I feel like you are still carrying them in some way with you today and you are being asked to step into your power, heal this, and release this. And you're also being told here, you don't have to sh share your next move if these people ask. You don't have to if you don't feel comfortable. Okay, so let's see what else we get. We have next. What else? We have five of pentacles. We have the moon, it's Pisces, it's also Cancer. Justice, Libra. And the ace of cups, okay.
I feel like there's um, a subconscious fear here when surrounding you setting your boundaries and really stepping into your power um, that if you say no to these people that they will somehow just abandon you. The Five of Pentacles is all about being left out in the cold. I'm also getting like it may be difficult for you to actually walk away from these people because I am getting like a long term like energy here. Um, I'm definitely getting family now. This could even be like a spouse, a spouse's family. But okay. The energy I'm picking up on, um, honestly, that it's coming to me now, I, I kind of felt it, but there, I'm kind of, I'm starting to feel really uncomfortable, um, that there's this, um, unhealthy energy and I I don't think it's coming from you it's coming from somebody else and it's it's almost like it's not very unconditionally loving this is um, I'm getting like conditional love here uh, might say you know unhealthy toxic possibly even narcissistic um, now for some of you this may just simply be a fear that if you say no and stand up for yourself that these people may be like well then we don't want you around and that may just be a fear that's coming up maybe these if these people around if this is resonating with you so far and the people around you aren't deceptive or toxic or narcissistic in any way then i feel like this is just a fear that's coming up a, a subconscious fear um others of you i am getting that you may have grown up in a narcissistic narcissistic household and a lot of responsibility was put on you and there really is a need for you to start setting your boundaries if you haven't already or and really enforce them stick to it it, it may get uncomfortable but you are really being called to actually stop carrying other people's burdens stop carrying the weight of the past even you don't have to it's not your responsibility you are being asked to heal this i see with the star and the ace of cups the ace of cups is all about you know self-care and loving yourself filling up your own cup taking care of yourself making sure that you're provided for and i feel like with that justice card this is going to help you feel really balanced mentally, men, mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. Um, because I feel like in the past you felt that things weren't fair. It was always put on you and it wasn't fair. But now I feel like um, the tables will turn once you make those adjustments and everything will be balanced out everything will work out with that justice card the justice is all about fairness now as i said for some of you if this is like um a spouse situation this may be having to walk away or separate or divorce from your spouse and be single again this may be a toxic relationship with a, a lover and you having to break that commitment break that contract to free yourself and love yourself 
and heal from this. So I hope this is resonating with you guys. I know we got we kind of have a few storylines, but this is general. Um, so I'm going to jump into some advice for you from a different deck here. But I am getting like, whatever the story is for you, there is like an, an unhealthy pattern or situation here that's really calling for your attention and for you to really follow your follow your intuition here i feel like your intuition your inner guidance your inner compass has been calling you for some time and i feel like you've you've known this but on some level you may have just shrugged it off you may have thought oh i'm just in a bad mood things will get better you you know i'm fully supported with these people, but then I also get the sense that your intuition is telling you that, um, hey, there, there's something here that needs your attention. It's time for you to focus on you. And I also feel like things will be coming to light with that moon. The moon illuminates the darkness. So if there's any deceptive energy around you, um, I feel like that will come to light. And I feel like it's going to happen when you start saying no. When you start saying, no, I'm sorry, I can't do that. I need to take care of me. I feel like it's going to be very obvious when you start putting yourself first. Okay, so, so far for advice, we have the tower. This is Mars energy. What else do we have for advice? What's the advice for group one? What is this? We have the five of swords in reverse. Let's get one more. And we have the four of wands in reverse. On the bottom here, we have the Three of Cups in reverse. Okay. So with the Five of Swords, the Three of Cups, and the Four of Wands, definitely the Three of Cups and the Four of Wands, there is like something that is definitely out of balance here uh, within your personal life, I'm getting. Um, the Five of Swords is all about conflicts, it may also be like mental conflicts, but we have other people here. So I feel like there are conflicts in your personal life, again, whether it's friends, family, um, community, I feel like I'm getting that spirit your higher self whoever it is you turn to is actually asking you to take a look at these um connections that you have in your life and you are being asked to release any conflict with these people now this doesn't mean like you just go out and forgive them and you guys live happily ever after um I feel like what you're being asked here is to speak your speak your truth with these people. 
um, sit down, try to resolve any conflicts if it's if it's possible. Um, if not possible, then I feel like your higher self or spirit is ask letting you know that you may have to make some big changes here. The tower is big abrupt changes and yes it can be a little scary here uh, especially if it's somebody that's been around for a long time or has like a big influence in your life but I feel like you're ready you are ready to do this because we have that intuition your intuition has been telling you this for quite some time you already know this and I feel like you're just here watching this for extra confirmation um, yeah, I'm getting that it's time to let, it may be time to let people go. If they're unwilling to compromise with you and work past any conflicts to a more harmonious connection and, um, friendship or romantic partnership, whatever it is, um, then it, it may be time for you to move on and put your happiness first. It's time for you to heal. Okay, so this is all I have for you, group one. I hope it was helpful. I hope it brought some sort of clarity. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next reading. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, group two. Welcome to your reading. If you chose this Solonite crystal, let's jump into your Oracle cards and see what's coming up. We have number 36. Or is that 30? No, that's 38. I'm just blind. <laughs> we have Heal the Ouch. We have, if you believe, the archetype we have coming through here is a detective. So we light attribute. This is great powers of observation and intuition, desire to seek out the truth. The shadow attribute is voyeurism, falsifying information. This actually, I've been... Dive, um, diving into more like natal chart readings and astro astrology, like learning about the signs. And this um, reminds me of Scorpio. Scorpios are great detectives. And they also have like really amazing intuition if they're tapped into it and they're aware of it. I feel like Scorpios do anyways, but uh, we have full moon in Cancer. A personal issue reaches resolution. Okay, so with this archetype card, this may represent you, this may represent somebody in your life. Um, okay, oh, hold on a second, I'm being interrupted. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. So, <laughs> oh my goodness, there is something in your life, your personal life, I feel like um, you've been working towards this or you've been wanting this for quite some time, but there is something, I, I'm getting closure here with the personal issue, which is resolution and a heal, heal the ouch. Um, this is not just about like just ordinary healing and personal growth. Uh, this is something that you've been wanting for quite some time, I feel like. Uh, you have been seeking some sort of truth with something in your in your personal life. And it is, I feel like you're right there. Um, you just have to keep going. And I 
Um, that if you believe is standing out to me. Um, I have a feeling with that is there is something that happened in your life um, that you possibly were told that you will never get closure or you can't heal from this. Um, I don't know who told who told you this, but I feel like on some level you always believed, like you were always into you know finding the truth seeking the truth you're somebody that deeply values truth and honesty here and i feel like with that if you believe deep down you always had a knowing that this was going to be resolved there was going to be some sort of closure and, and i do feel like spirit here is saying yes it's possible and it's available to you and I feel like it is coming like some sort of closure is coming for you and you will be able to release this this pain uh, the ouch here <laughs> So let's dive into your tarot and see what else we have with this. I feel like with that detective, you're the type of person that never really um, fully hung on somebody else's words whatever they told you if they told you something was impossible for you um like something you'll never know this you just have to trust that it happened for a reason and just be done with it like if you ever told that i feel like you didn't fully like stick to that belief and you just went your own way because you're like no like i believe what I believe and I'm here to find out my truth and I feel like this is actually beneficial to you you not following what others would tell you to do and tell you to believe was actually very beneficial And it has to do with like healing some sort of issue in your life. This may be even like a health issue. It's a personal issue here. So something very personal to you. There is some sort of truth coming, some sort of clarity, and also like closure. There may even be a chance for like a rebirth after this. Maybe like a fresh energy. Um with this personal thing if this has to do with another person in your life even just like restored energy like with health but i am definitely getting the sense of like closure here you were looking for answers and i feel like they're coming like it's coming to you we have the four of cups here I'm definitely I'm getting a message right off the bat with this. Um, <laughs> uh, I'll wait until I pull the other cards to share that message. We have the Knight of Swords. The Chariot. It's Cancer energy. So we have Cancer coming through twice. And we have the moon, which is Pisces. The moon also can be connected to cancer. So maybe somebody here has a cancer stellium. Okay. So that four of cups, 
Uh, like I said, there there is some sort of clarity coming. But you see this person here. They're sitting there, arms crossed. Let me just check out their... Here, I'll hold this up. They're not very happy with these three cups here. Um, so I feel like what's going on here is that you've been putting all of your focus on what's going on around you in the 3D and the physical and you're not seeing what's coming. You don't see this other cup that you're actually desiring that coming to you, like that resolution. This is that resolution coming to you, that healing. And I get, I'm actually getting the sense here that sometimes the Knight of Swords can be like an impatient energy. I feel like on some level, this may have been like, you may have been getting impatient when it comes to this, like waiting for this, like when is it coming? It's not here yet. Um, but this is here to tell you it is coming. It's on the way right now. Uh, you just don't see it yet, but it's, it's like right there. <laughs> and what I'm getting here is that things are going to be moving along quite quickly once this is actually presented to you. I feel, I do feel like a spark of action, like that inspired action coming through uh, once this, once this comes, because I feel like we are getting that renewed energy and I, but it's, it's very quick. So when it comes, it's going to come quick. And I feel like it may take you a second to actually realize that it's there when it shows up, but <laughs> yes, it's definitely coming. Um, and Yeah, I'm definitely getting a lot of healing and uh, completion with your group. I feel like this is with the chariot. This is all about like willpower, being able to push forward. Um, I feel like you guys do have really strong willpower here. And this is actually like a gift that you have. You have this inner strength about you that doesn't allow you to be swayed by other people's opinions. With that moon, I feel like deep down you intuitively know your truth. And you've always known that things would come to light for you. Yes, you may have been impatient at times, um, wondering, you know, when is this going to happen? You're human after all. It's okay. Um, but yeah, it's it's coming. So if you're wondering where the hell is this uh, closure or this resolution, it's coming. So what else does group two need to know? We have the Fool, we have the Nine of Wands, the Empress, and the Ten of Cups. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, 
so this has been like a long, what feels like a very long journey for you. I feel like you have been wanting this or desiring this for quite some time here uh, with the Nine of Wands. But this is something you never gave up on. You always had that, like that blind faith, that trust, that knowing, that inner knowing that it was all going to work out for you. And with the fool here, there is, there is a possibility of a new beginning, a fresh start for you. Um, like I said, whether it's with another person or just you on your own or health, whatever the situation is here, there is a fresh energy coming in for you. It's available to you. I feel like you have definitely pushed yourself. Uh, you have been through it all you never you never gave up i see the nine of wands somebody that's like they persevere it's like it's a struggle but they're they're still going you have like i feel like sometimes you felt like you hit rock bottom uh but you you never gave up you never dropped those wands you never like threw in the towel you kept going you may have thought that I should just give up. I feel like that's this energy, like not seeing that cup here. Um, but you kept going. You had that inner knowing that it was going to work out for you. It was available to you. It is available to you. It is going to work out for you. There is an opportunity for a new beginning, a fresh start here. And I feel like with that Empress here, um, the Empress is letting you know that you don't, you don't have to, you don't have to stress about this. Uh, you got this. The Empress embodies all, all the Queens in the deck, the wands, the cups, the swords, the, um, pentacles the empress has it all the inner knowing the intellect the the empress is a great communicator very nurturing very loving knows their worth and i feel like you know your worth that's why you never allowed anybody else to push their beliefs on you. You always stuck to your beliefs. Even if you question them at times, you always stuck to your beliefs. And this was, this is a great strength. This takes a lot of willpower. And I feel like it did take a lot of willpower for you at times, but you pushed through. And I feel like your 10 of cups, your happy ending, um, your manifestation, if you're looking, if you're trying to manifest this, if you're into manifestation, um, I am getting like a, that healing is coming, that, that wound is going to be healed. So let's dive into your, um, advice here what your higher self or spirit or whoever you turn to, what they want you to know right now, any advice moving forward. But I honestly feel like just looking at this and like not even pulling advice cards, I would say, honestly, you got this. You are a strong person, even though you may not feel like it at times. You definitely have the inner strength. Okay. Advice for group two. 
Three of Swords in reverse. Six of Wands in reverse. And the Devil. Interesting. Okay, we have Capricorn coming through. And as I'm reading this, we are still in that um, full moon in Capricorn. Okay, so what I'm getting from this, your... The devil here. And it's connected to the moon. It's right here by the moon card. I feel like... Your subconscious is really trying to draw your attention uh, to something that is like connected to healing, some sort of heartbreak, some sort of wound, sadness, uh, grief, depression even. Um, I feel like on some level, your ego, like your mind, you may have been somebody may have like pushed like some sort of belief on you and it really hurt your heart or, or may have told you something in the past this may even be connected to like this is like the lover's card right you have the two people but they're chained here by the devil this is a toxic energy it also represents fears um so there may have been like a connection in your past that's somehow influencing this and it's been hard for you to move on or let go of this limiting belief and fully heal from this the, the three of wands or the three of swords in reverse is like it's healing um Yeah, what I'm getting is that there was a fear. Something broke your heart. Possibly somebody. I am getting like a connection because like I said, lovers, this may have been connected to like a past relationship. Something from a past relationship. Um, this may, for some of you, this may be an ex that you're wanting to... Uh, reconnect with but maybe um, other relationships that you've had in the past made it difficult for you to actually fully heal but you there is some sort of belief around connections here connections with other people that was painful for you and it was hard for you to let you go and I feel like your subconscious here the moon is trying to, trying to bring this to your awareness um, you may even have like hidden unconscious um, beliefs around love and connections that have you have had you stuck in a pattern It may have been the reason why it's taken quite some time because we have that nine of wands. This is somebody that's like really had to push through here. Like it's, it's tired, exhausting energy. So what I am getting is that the spirit is asking you to take a look at those fears Take a look at those unhealthy patterns that have been um, cycling constantly in your life that you haven't been able to, you feel like you haven't been able to heal from. This may be even like, why do I attract these kind of people in my life? It keeps reminding me of this other situation and it's painful. Um, Spirit is asking you to act, take a look at that because your answers are there. And this may be the thing that once you 
just address it and acknowledge it for it to be released so you can so you can actually heal um this may be the thing that has like your your closure right right there like you don't see here let me like you don't see this right you don't see that cup this may be the thing where it's like spirit is just saying or your higher self is just saying hey just uh just address me just acknowledge me take a look at me um i want i want to heal i want to let go of this pain so just you know feel me feel the pain that doesn't sound encouraging doesn't <laughs> allow yourself to process emotions is what i'm saying um to release it if you need to connect with a loved one or a close friend to help support you during this time yes absolutely that's completely okay that's completely you are supported in that But there is like some sort of pattern here that is needing to be addressed or asking you. Your subconscious is asking you <laughs> to address this, to heal from this, to release it, to feel it. Your ego may have been telling you, oh no, we can't, it's too uncomfortable. But I feel like there's like some sort of pattern that just kept recycling itself and it's been showing up in your life and um, just a limiting belief around connections, possibly love here with that heart. It's also about heartbreak. But yes, when you, this is not like uh, you have to do this right now, like right this second. Uh, prepare yourself if you need to prepare yourself because it it does get uncomfortable. Um, allowing yourself to process those emotions, but you you are safe. You're safe to do so. Um, if you need to, like curl up with your favorite music, even like love songs to cry your eyes out and curl under like a weighted blanket, light some candles, watch a movie, whatever it is that helps you feel like nurtured and safe, or even just like sharing this with somebody close to you that you feel safe with. Um, whatever it is, it's, there's something there that's asking you to address this address this inner wound this pain and you may be sitting here watching this saying uh danielle i don't even know what the hell that is <laughs> i don't know uh it's been so long but i i feel like um there there is no rush this resolution, this closure, and this new beginning, it's available to you. You're, you're not going to screw it up. So don't worry about that. It's not like, oh, you only have like two weeks to do this and you're screwed. No, no, that's not the case. Um, take as long as you need. This reading is just a guidance to let you know what is coming up right now for you. So you may have been feeling this for quite some time. It's letting you know it's there to be felt and released if you choose to do so. When you feel comfortable and safe to do so. Even if you need to prepare yourself, meditate, whatever it is, I feel like 
you just choosing, even just choosing to release this, even if you don't know exactly what it is, just um, setting the intention to face the wounds and heal, I feel like it may even come up like bit by bit, like little pieces will just come up to be released and healed for you. So this is all I have for you, group two. I hope it brought some sort of clarity. Um, thank you so much for watching and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next reading. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, group three, if you chose this little teardrop rose crystal, welcome to your reading. So let's dive into your oracles and see what is coming up. All right, so we have number 31, Dry Desert. All the cards from this deck have been like in the 30s. Maybe you guys mostly watching this are in your 30s. We have Let Go. We have Hedonist, Light Attributes, Inspires Creative Energy, To Embrace the Good Things in Life, Celebrates the Beauty in Yourself, Shadow Attribute, Pursues Pleasure to the Detriment of Health, Indulges at the Expense of Others. And then we have the Cardinal Moon. Be bold and make the first move. Okay. Just looking at this dry desert card is making me really thirsty. So I feel like there is like a replenishing of energy that is needed here. Let me just sit with this card here for a second. Okay, and I'm also looking at this book. This is a newer deck for me, and just right off the bat, it's saying, dig deep for inspiration and truth. Now is the time to become resilient and adaptable. Okay. So we have this card that's talking about your creativity. We have this one that's saying, you know, be bold and make the first move. And then this is talking about tapping into your creativity and being resilient. So I feel like with the let go here, and this is saying stop making yourself um, so small. I feel like you have been holding yourself back in some way. Um, maybe some of you are like introverted and shy. You may be like the quiet type, uh, with, with this here, like in the beginning, when I had it in the pick, pick a group, right? It, it stood out from the others. It was different. So you may have felt growing up that you didn't fit in. You didn't belong. You were different from other people made. Maybe you have been told you were different. Uh, you may have been called gifted or considered gifted, but different from others. And I feel like on some level, maybe people didn't weren't very supportive. Maybe they didn't understand you. Um, but on some level, I feel like there's a part of you that's actually keeping yourself small. It's keeping you up. It's keeping you from 
really tapping into that creative expression here. I feel like on some level you've been you've been hiding. Now this may be because you don't feel comfortable like getting out of your comfort zone, but I feel like you are being called to step out of your comfort zone and express yourself. Be bold. For some of you, this may even be talking about a relationship. Be bold and make the first move. Maybe you were always the one hoping that your romantic interest would be the one to make the first move. You're like, no, I'm not going to kiss them. <laughs> I want them to kiss me first. I want them to ask me out first. For some of you, that's the case. I feel like, no, yeah, you got this. You make the first move. <laughs> um, yeah, but there is definitely a message here to embrace who you truly are. Embrace that unique, beautiful part of yourself. And I'm not uh, familiar with like all flowers and plants. I definitely don't have a green thumb. <laughs> However, I do know that roses hold the highest vibration. So embrace that step into that high vibration that you are and i feel like you are a magnetic person i just feel like you don't always share that so what else does group three need to know we have the tower mars energy this also reminds me of Aries and Scorpio. Mars rules Aries and Scorpio. We have the moon. Pisces or Cancer. The nine of swords. And let's get one more. Ace of cups. Okay. Oh, excuse me. I already gone there. I am definitely getting fears that are coming up and anxieties. Um, I am. As I like sit here with your energy group three, I am getting a more introverted energy coming through this group. Uh, somebody quiet, shy, keeps to themselves. You may even struggle with anxiety, possibly even social anxiety even. Um, But I am definitely getting a message for you to confront your fears, confront what is actually making you uncomfortable. Why are you holding yourself back? What is it here that has you causing the anxiety? What is keeping you? What is stopping you from allowing yourself to get out of your comfort zone? Yeah, I feel like with that Ace of Cups, I'm getting on some level that I, I'm kind of feeling like sad. I want to tear up here, but I feel like you guys may have struggled with this feeling like you didn't fit in there was something wrong with you even but i feel like no that's not the case 
you may even struggle with like self-worth self may this may be like past energy coming up here even like maybe in your childhood you felt unlovable um you didn't love yourself you lacked like self-worth and this just even connecting with like people in general uh, letting lo let alone a romantic partner really caused brought up a lot of anxiety and fears for you so you kind of kept yourself closed off here but I feel like with that ace of cups this is showing you you have a lot to offer you have so much to offer this is letting you know don't doubt yourself don't don't make yourself small because somebody from your past said unkind words to you or maybe you didn't fit in I feel like maybe you didn't fit in with a specific group or a specific crowd but I feel like your people are out there embrace who you truly are love yourself for who you are your your gifts your talents your uniqueness Oh, I'm, like, I'm like crying here. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had tears in my eyes for a reading. Oh, okay, what else? Just group three. And you know, it's funny. This is this is in the shape of a tear. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, it's not funny, but you know, it's you know, very symbolic. Okay, what else does group three need to know? Hopefully I don't turn into a blubbering mess over here. <laughs> we have the Magician, Mercury. We have Strength, Leo. We are about to head into Leo season. You have a lot of major arcanas coming through here big energy. We have four of wands. This also reminds me of like a, an 11, 11 card with the four wands. That number may be significant. And we have the Hierophant. This is Taurus. Okay. I feel like you guys don't actually, you may not know how powerful you actually are with that magician. The magician is that alchemist, has the ability to change an outcome. And if you're working from shadow, the ability to manipulate, but hopefully, you know, you're using the magician's power for, you know, with good intention, integrity. Um, but yes, you do, you, you have a lot of strength and you don't know how powerful you actually are. I feel like you may not have known this for quite some time. You've kept yourself small. Again, there may have been people telling you in the past, because I'm getting more like a past energy, possibly even childhood, growing up in school, maybe you were bullied in school, um, picked on because you didn't fit in you may have been a little bit of a loner that's okay um i mean it's not okay you were picked on but it's okay if you kept to yourself you were you considered yourself a loner or a nerd or whatever you didn't fit in there's nothing wrong with that um but you have great strength within you you have great ability to manifest and change the outcome here. And you, I am getting that you have so much potential and inner gifts, possibly like psychic gifts, spiritual gifts, uh, whatever it is, like there's like, there's a greatness about you and 
I don't even know if you're aware of it, but it's it is there. I'm also getting the sense with this strength card, you are somebody that has a big heart. You're a very loving soul. And I feel like part of this, I feel like you were born this way with a big heart, um, a loving, open heart. You just unconditionally loved. But I'm also getting that your past, not feeling like you fit it could fit in, uh, being bullied or mistreated. This has also allowed you to show others compassion. And with the Four of Wands and the Hierophant, the Hierophant can all be about like uh, spirituality, like even re religion or traditions, community even. I also see the Four of Wands as community. I feel like your soul family, uh, your people are out there. Even like your soul mate, if that's what you're looking for. They're out there. You are lovable. You are worthy of love. Uh, there is a community of people, a group of people who are on the same path of you, as you, who have had like similar stories, similar backgrounds, similar gifts that are, that are out there for you. You're not, you're not alone. I feel like This is letting you know that you are, you're worthy of love. And I feel like you've questioned that in the past. You've questioned your worth. You've questioned if there's anybody who would be a match to you because you felt so different and I'm getting that guess. So let's see what spirit or your higher self, whoever you connect with, what the advice is moving forward. I'm also getting with that strength card is to hold on to that big heart of yours, that compassion. This does not mean allow mistreatment from others, no. Um, but I feel like you have a kindness about you that, well, nowadays may even seem like rare to find, especially like in the past few years, everything going on in the world. I feel like the world could actually use more people like you. Okay, so we have the Ten of Wands in reverse. Getting all teary eyed again. Oh, jeez. Is it okay to blame <laughs> the full moon? <laughs> okay. We have the Ten of Cups in reverse. And what else does Pile 3 need to know? What's the advice here for Pile 3? No, I only want one. One, please, not five. What are you? Seven of Wands in reverse. Okay. Okay. 
I know seeing the Ten of Cups in reverse could be like, oh God, so I'm not having my happy ending? No, that's not true. Um, you are being asked to allow yourself to be more open. Now, this does not mean you have to let every single person in and be an open book and just like give your energy to everybody. No, that's not the case. Um, trust your intuition. Allow yourself to feel a, a person's energy or however it is you however it is you connect with other people. Use your discernment. Of course, as always, trust your inner guidance here. But I'm getting keep an open mind. Don't don't close yourself off to the possibility, the offer of a loving connection, a loving community, loving family, loving just connections in general, whether or not it's like true love or romantic love you are looking for. Um, I am kind of getting like a wanting to find like a person that you can like a life partner. For some of you, it may be like a life partner or a specific, specific person, something romantic. For others of you, this just may be like, just like family, friends, community in general. But don't let the pain of the past with that Ten of Wands. You're being asked to stop feeding into the past. Stop feeding into what people told you in the past, even though it hurt. The things they said that were hurtful are untrue. It's not true at all. Don't close yourself off because other people didn't understand you. Maybe they weren't open to the love you had to give, the the compassion you had to share. This does not mean that you're unworthy or there's nobody out there for you. There is somebody out there for you. There is a community, a group of people, supportive friends that are out there available for you. I'm also getting, you're being asked to not give up on yourself. Yeah, that's the main message that I'm getting. Don't give up on yourself because of the pain of the past. Don't close yourself off to something beautiful because somebody from the past was a jerk. Okay, so this is all I have for you, group three. I hope it brought some clarity. Um, I hope it was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next reading. Take care. Bye-bye.